Hello! Welcome back to Cannon Fodder. I am Ultragun, and this is going to be part... 5? I don't know. This is Gorilla Warfare. We're going to be fighting gorillas. We're going to be fighting gorillas in Vietnam. So this is, um... The mission where, like, everything... Okay. I'll go with that. So yeah, this is going to be the mission where everything just goes wrong. Because this is where everything just goes wrong. Just, uh, just goes wrong anyway. I get my ass into it. Oh god. Traps. Yeah, we start seeing these spikes now. These spikes sort of just insta-kill everything. I'm going to try to stay away from them, but they're like all hidden in stupid places. So, luckily I remember this mission pretty well, and um, I know what to do on this one. But it's really difficult getting to the uh, buildings you have to destroy. There's only two buildings, but they're like, it's destroyed. It's blown up a trap on the bridge, and they blow me up and try to press it. Yeah, look how fast these enemies keep coming out. you got to sort of like, find a break in them all to... Uh, Move up. Come on. The bomb is getting a lot of kills here. Ah! Oh, I should have said that. As soon as I said that, he got killed. Now it's down to Hector. Stop fucking running to me. Rambo time, Hector. We need to go and Rambo our way through. In this room, we got an unlimited saw gun. Blow them all away with your unlimited machine gun. Boom. Oh god. I got trapped. Oh! Yes, I somehow dodged that guy shot. I should be dead. No, I'm not. And that's why Hector is now Rambo. You know what, I'm surprised I beat that one first time through. Oh, oh I remember this one. Um, this one we get our introduction to um, the cannon. There's like a cannon on the level that you can get to and use. Well, I don't mean you can get to and use, you must get to and use. You gotta blow up all these um, buildings, but they're like heavily armoured. The only way to blow up the heavily but armoured buildings are with a cannon. So. Uh. Oh, you just can't tell I'm sick again. <laughs> Seems to always be sick lately. But, like, because there's so many people in my house, um, every time one of us gets sick, we all eventually get sick. And then, like, the disease, like, sort of circles around everyone again before it eventually goes. So everyone usually gets sick twice. It's so annoying. So sort of like a cold or something, but I just... Ugh. Well, it feels terrible. Right, so here, um, what I'm doing is I'm going to um, split up all my squad into three separate little squads to um, cover the cannon. And this should work, hopefully. Oh, wait, it needs to separate Norm. There we go. But now Norm can get inside the cannon. While um, the AI defends us. Oh, it's these guys so they don't get to my guys. Oh, Hex is dead. Damn it, they're doing so well as well. He didn't deserve to die like this. He was being such a good Rambo. Oh, what? That building's a bend here. Like a barn. There we go. Phase completed. What have we got next? Uh, 
Which one is it? Uh, oh dear, I think... If this is the one I'm thinking of... It could be very bad news. Oh crap it is. So that bottom left corner we have to get down to um, there. But we have to go through like a maze of jungle. And there's like uh, traps along the way. I've already gone past one. There's like a trap right at the start. <laughs> uh, come on. I know there's definitely a trap here. It's obvious. Come on. Just sneak past. There we go. You see, look, that was a spike. It's very hard to get past those spikes without um, triggering them and getting yourself killed. I fear. Don't go. That was lucky. I feel like it's a spike pit. Oh look, that's another spike. You can sort of tell after a while what spikes look like. They sort of look like these little bush things on the ground. Just like, they always seem to be in the middle of the jungle. Or at the edges of the trees. Right, we're going to blow up this bazooka guy first before we do anything else. Because when we get down there, it could be a problem. There we go. <laughs> oh, he's just being blown up by a grenade and he's having a slow death. That is just hilarious. It's almost like uh, playing on Gauntlet. <laughs> Remember Gauntlet, the um, arcade game? You'd just be playing it and like, what your guy would just be like getting hit and he'd be going oh 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 really, really enthusiastically. <laughs> I mean, unenthusiastically. <laughs> We're gonna send Spike ahead here because. Uh, I think there's a rocket guy or two down here that we need to take care of. It's easy to take him on with one guy instead of four because then no one will die. Or if someone does die, only one person will. There we go. Oh god, he almost hit me. <laughs> Spike is about to die. <laughs> uh, that was always funny. It's just like, ooh, warrior needs food. <laughs> Warrior has destroyed the food. I don't, I don't know if anyone played the um, Xbox Live Arcade version, but it, it was so easy because you could just keep pressing start and getting more uh, health. Because in the uh, arcade version, the original arcade version, you had to put in more coins for more health. But in the uh, Xbox Live Arcade version, you could just keep uh, <laughs> pressing start and get tons of health. You could have unlimited health. Just charge straight through everything, just uh, attacking everything. I don't even know why I'm talking about going that. I hate that game. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh god. What's that? No, Buster. Buster's dead. Ugh, this mission. I hate it. See, I don't understand these really long houses. Because you still have to blow the doors off. So as long as you shoot them towards the front, it doesn't matter. Wait, we're missing a guy. Who are we missing? Norm. When did Norm die? I didn't see him die. Oh god, there goes whoever that was as well. I forgot that person's name already. I'm a terrible commander. <laughs> I should na know the name of all my soldiers. I've just got Sergeant Spike left, or whatever rank that is. Good Spike, you can do it. I'll watch out behind you. 
Yes, come on, you can do it. Kick some ass. Take some names. Take some ass and kick some names. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, I hate this mission. This is the most annoying song in the world! This is the most annoying song in the world! Come on, go through. Don't worry about explosives. You should be able to do it now. You've got Norris on your team. Come on, kill Lofty, kill... Every no, don't kill Lofty. Oh god. There goes Tubby. I don't even sure what killed Tubby. I just saw an explosion and saw him fly out of it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't get shot. There we go. Right, come on. Let's keep going, guys. There we go. Nice. Only three more to go. Uh, I wish these, explos these barrels would just explode when I shot them. It's so much easier. Go away. Oh no, who's that? We've lost Lofty. We've lost the blue crane from Bob the Builder. And we've lost Porky. Never again will we hear Porky's theme. Never again will we hear him say that's all, folks. Or say, <laughs> Sylvester, get off of me, or I shall kill you. You'd never be able to get away with that in uh, cartoons these days. <laughs> get out of here. Don't come around here. Actually, I do. There we go. Do you want to come around and see your friends? Oh, too late. I came around to see you. God, how would... This is just like... It, well, this is just like stereotyping Chuck Norris, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are, we've got Norris on our team right now, and he's the only one left, and he's just killed everyone and completed the mission, and he's going to take out all his rage on this guy! For all his lost comrades.